Hi, Sadie, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got surrounded by bits, right? But, but I have chosen one, haven't I? Where is it? Anyway, welcome to my channel. Crazy, crazy arts here. <laughs> right, that belongs on here. Okay, to close it, little charm thing. Okay, anyway, this is what we're making today. A little, it's got a little spot in the front and inside. It's made from six by six paper uh, base, and then there's uh, add things, and there's lots and lots of you can add lots and lots of papers to it and things like that, and bits of six by six or twelve by twelve, whatever you like. But it's the that is actually a six by six base to start off with, and I've added part because it, it originally it's from a 12 by 12 okay so i've added parts of those as well so um yeah and i've if you want as well we've got these little cats on my facebook group um if you, if they're on there let me know because they should be okay i did put them on there but they seem some reason they seem to disappear after a bit so if they're not on there let me know please don't think oh you know i'm a nuisance to let you know I'm, you're not a nuisance i'd rather know actually because i can i can find them but obviously i'm not sure if anybody else can <laughs> okay because i can just put them back on there it's no trouble but i'm working on trying to find trying to find a way to put them on the um youtube channel but i've you know i'm stumped at the moment with that but if you if anybody does know how to do it well if you do know how to do it and you know you've got a good way of explaining it or you can you know where a thing is to show me how to do it because i can't find anywhere <laughs> that'd be great i'll try from that okay anyway i do appreciate anybody who gives me a thumbs up thank you so much and anybody who um, subscribes to my channel as well if and now in the now or in the past appreciate you all anybody makes a comment as well i like what i like to hear from the regulars um a couple of comments from beverly thank you very much lately and um who else was it <laughs> i know patricia may yeah patricia may always gives me a comment and there's somebody else as well i know jan's giving me another comment yeah, it's Marcy. Marcy L, yeah, that's right. It was Marcy who gave me a comment. I knew it was somebody. I haven't looked, I just remembered. <laughs> Can't look. <laughs> Can't bother to take it off there because it's on my phone. I film on my phone, so so I just rely on my memory for that. Okay, yeah, I rely on my memory because if, you, if people comment often, then I will remember. Okay, so I do like, I do like to uh, acknowledge people who do comment uh, often on my... Um, videos oh and also sherry as well sherry said she'd change shifts and was watching my video as well thank you so much for that as well sherry yeah i got that one earlier thank you so much and so let's go and find out how we do these then right what's a mouth right it's a mess at the moment i'm just going to tidy up and what we're making today can't even oh it's there <laughs> See wherever it just tidy up and oh, tidy tidied up, says me. Right, okay. Well, there's not. This is why you can't tidy up unless you lift the mat up. It won't. Uh, right. So this is what we're making today. I'm making it slightly different to this though because I think I ought to put that little on a little better. Okay. I'm using the same pictures. These are mine. It's they are available on my Facebook group. There's this as well. So there's a little thing there. Oops. <laughs> And there's a thing behind as well, a little pocket behind. I've got a pocket there. I'm going to do this differently as well. And I've put a cap there, but I'm going to do that differently. And there's this as well. So that's like a little tuck spot there. And I've I've put that there because it's not double-sided. The one I'm using today is double-sided. If I can spot it. Oh, it's there. Okay. Oh, what are these? Yeah. Well, that's both, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's that. Okay, so let me show you how to make this. I'm making it with a cover. You can leave it without. This is on Septeria 18. She showed you how to do this. And apparently you don't have to use a scoreboard. Right, this is any way round paper I've got here, so that's fine. Um, the only thing that worries me about doing this is 
I find it very difficult to make a small crease. I don't know if you would. So I've just spotted my ruler on if I could do it like this. So anybody else? So I'm going to make a. I need a small crease for one side. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. I think because I find that easier. Because if you use a score, you can use a scoreboard, obviously. But uh, was it about quarter of an inch? You suggested. All right, hopefully that'll do. <laughs> Yeah, so my scoreboard downstairs anyway. I think. Oh, I've got a, I've got a scoreboard up here, but it's not. It's nowhere the way way the same. That will probably be okay because I have to you have to cut a piece of that out anyway. Right, so open it out and fold up to um, uh, about an inch. Is it? Or is it one and a half? It. Uh, no. It's about three quarters of an inch at the top like that. Phone folder it down. Okay. And yeah, it's a six by six piece of paper, but I did cut it from a twelve by twelve because I wanted double sided. Not many of my papers are double sided, six by six. Right then, and then I want a crease, don't I? Uh, oh yeah that's right yes you, you make a so i'm looking at the cover so you make it then you make a fold uh is it this way around <laughs> yeah then you fold along here keeping that straight i'm using that as a guide there well yeah <laughs> not sure if exactly yeah that's better in it? It is probably easier with a scoreboard actually. Right, so you would cut out this long bit here. Get the longer bit of the two, you cut that out. Okay, so you can cut a little triangle thing there if you like. And cut out so you don't get no bends, cut out the whole crease. Yeah. Like that, we really have to look a bit, never mind. <laughs> and then we cut here, uh, down the middle of that crease there. I suppose if you like, you can cut, cut that out. I don't think it's necessary though. Okay, so then you would want to glue that and fold it like that. Yes, that's right. Glue that and fold it like that. So glue this. Oh, do you know what I want to? What I want to do first is just cut a little triangle there as well. There we go. So that glues down there, right? So you can fold this back, and that would go that way too. Uh, I don't. It won't matter to me that that shows behind because I'm going to put something on here but if you if you can leave it like this and um, just have a little tuck spot here and a, I don't know folded I don't know what we're doing with that I don't know what you'd do with that one this little folder thing I think but I'm going to take because I'm doing the whole thing I'm going to um, take that out hopefully do a corner round let's see if we can I should have done the corner round him first no, oh, I wonder if we can do it together like that. Yeah, it's done it. Let's have a look on this one. I don't know if this will be able to do the bottom one. Out. Oh, yeah, because there's plenty of room in there. Isn't there? there we go. Oh, and this one as well. There we go. So I've got all those corner roundings, and then I'm going to put some glue on the inside of this. Okay, uh, just to that where it starts to bend. And you leave that, you can leave that open or you can glue it down, but I'm leaving mine open because then you can get lots in there. Okay, that is the... Right then, so you need, if you like, you can do these in different ways, but if you like, you can put an extra cover on there 
about the same size as this so what are we <laughs> i don't know what it is i've got my little um ruler we'll do inches even though you can probably see the center it's actually exactly 11 centimeters um just over four and a quarter by that's just under nine uh What's that in? Oh, it's, I think it's three eighths, is it? Something like three eighths, three and three eighths of an inch that way. Mine is the eight. Yours one might be slightly different because we're we're not measuring to start with, are we? Right then, I'm going to find uh, another piece of card about that big. This is, this is quite thick. This is nice and thick. Mine, the one I originally did, was so thin just normal paper which is why I decided to use double sided but it's fine though it's it's really nice and it fits in places which is good right then right, I'm, oh, just got things in the way which one's the best side I think these both go because this is same from the same pad it's just quite a lot of uh, plain stuff really oh that's quite long Quite long way. Really. Right, so what do we do? We have to. Oh, that was right, yeah. So I might put it on first and then. Oh, should we round the corner? Should we round? <laughs> Let's round the corners. Yeah. With the large. Oh, actually, I might have to cut that off though, might I? What am I like? I just told, said that, didn't I? Or shall I? Yeah. So I'll do it first, and I'll, I'll re-round the corners. It won't matter, will it? Right, so when you put this on, you need to glue down here and also here. Then you've got an extra little... Oh, we haven't it that way or that way, though. No, I quite like that spotty side. That's quite like a Milky Way sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, let's have that. So we'll have the spotty side. So I'm going to we need to glue along here, is it here, along here, whatever. We need to glue along there and there because we need it, it's going to make it into a little pocket. So up to the curves. Yeah, there we go. And that's fine and that needs to be done there as well, don't it? Oh, that's not even to that right where's my yeah here here look they're here right so i'm going to go around actually yeah you can round the corners as long as you make sure you're not cutting anything on the other side which i'm not i can use that can't i oh that's a bit that might that one might need redoing though yes and there's this little bit here as well There we go, so that's that. So we've got a little tuck spot there, but I'm still going to, I'm going to add to that actually. Because I'm going to put, you know what I'm going to put on the front, you probably remember. Right then, something for here. Oh no, let's just do the corner, come on. I know there's something. There we go. You already said to me, you've forgotten to do the corner. Right, okay. Uh, let's get a little envelope. So I've made this envelope up ready. And that should fit on there. It should be. It should fit, yes. So that will fit in there. What I've done is uh, made it out of the mini um, uh, envelope maker because these these papers, these sort of papers, aren't quite six by six. And the, uh, you can make it with five and a half. So I've used that. You don't have to use a. Um, you don't have to use an envelope maker. You can just use a square piece of paper. And I probably have to measure or put a card inside the size you want and then go around that. But anyway, what you do is, what I always do is fold it like that so that these are on the outside. Then I can work out how big I need to cut up. don't like that hanging up that, that. I like it going down. So what I'm going to do is glue that in. So turn it the other way and glue it in like that. Okay. Uh, I just have to go with my glue again. I've had them both out, you know, and I've just put them both away. <laughs> it 
trying to save time, you see, on this video, instead of making every single thing, because I tend to make every single thing from scratch, if you notice, don't I? So I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually ink this up, I'm going to ink, not ink up these bits, just the, uh, around the edges. So, time out. so that's normally like that, isn't it? Then you put that on. Uh, let's put a bit of glue on here. Oh, I suppose I could have put something on here. You could have perhaps put some stencils on there. Or some rubber stamps just to do the inside. Yeah, let's do some let's do some of this. And we're not often um envelopes are white on the inside, so there's no reason you have to decorate it. That's gonna be poking out the edge there. We'll have to live with that or we can... I don't think you can move it up any further, can you? Um, anyway, I'm going to make a little pocket at the back as I did on the other one. I'm going to might move it up a little bit, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make it awkward for myself, aren't I? Let's see if I can get that straight like that. So that's now on there. I've moved it up a bit because there is plenty of room there. Look, isn't there? So, of course, I can move that up a little bit so it doesn't touch that corner. Right, what else do we do? Um, should we do the front? Let's do the cat on the front. Yeah. Right, I've um, put him on a little thing. I've done. It's going to be different to what I did the other one because the other one doesn't... Um, it sort of like hangs over the edge and I didn't like that. So I'm going to put him on the, here, cut him round the edge. So I'm going to put this on fast. Right, hopefully you'll fit on here without messing about too much. You will, yeah. So I'm not going to glue, don't worry, I won't glue that down. That, that's, <laughs> even that, even not going to do that. That's okay. Right, what I did before, I made a little round thing out of the thing I put him on, I think, or something. Oh, oh. But this time I'm going to make sure it goes all the way round him. So I need to measure again, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. Right, although we didn't measure the other thing, I'm measuring this. Right, okay, so eight, I need at least, I could make it a little bit less than that if I want, so I could still show the back of that. So eight centimetres, or just over three inches, by, and I can make him, I can put him down a bit so I can get even. And seven, seven is three, is two and three quarters. So two and three quarter inches by just, what's it, over or under? Um, over three, yeah. That's three and a quarter, so isn't it, nearly. Three and an eighth. So three and an eighth and two and three quarters, this is, that I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to make a little, I don't know whether to make it a D shape or something. Mm, I'm not going to, I'm not sure what I was using now. What was I going to use? I've got that paper. That'd be nice because that but it all matches. I know that's a different thing, but that is a purpley thing. Yeah, if I could stick him on there. Alright, I'm not keen on it being just paper though. Let's try and find another pick about another piece of this in a different area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got stuck. I don't like the way that sticks out there. I'm going to cut it off. 
cut off yeah so that's that's my round so i need to make this i'm going to cut it so it's done on here on my board on my board um, what did i say two three and a three and an eighth isn't it by um don't think that's straight That's not straight either, right? So I'm looking. Oh dear. Oh dear, we're bad, aren't we? I'm going to make sure it's all straight first. <laughs> okay. That's because I cut it with scissors rather than any measuring. Right, okay, it's about three and an eighth by two and that one. It's three quarters. Yeah, it is because that's seven, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that right? Will it fit on there? I don't know if it'll fit on there. It seems a bit small. I measured it, didn't I? Oh, we will. All right. Yeah. Well, it'll fit on there with his ears sticking up a little bit, but hey. Let's put him on there. It was to just round the corners first. I might leave it as a as a square because I was going to make it into a dome shape, but I'll leave it as a square because I think that looks okay. I think it's Alex come back. The dog's getting excited. Yeah, about half a second for you, <laughs> but I've been out and uh, what time is it now? <laughs> Went out for about, well, took dog out, etc. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just stick that on there, wasn't I? My son came back from the shop and decided we decided to take the dog out. And we saw his doggy twin as well, which was very interesting. I'm just going to try and get this, just those little bits there. And I'm going to... Yeah, we saw his doggy twin who is looks exactly almost exactly the same as him and apparently he she is a um cross with cross, chihuahua cross as well but i think i think i think it's got jack russell like nico and nico's got poodle as well could be anything though couldn't it <laughs> Nico's got um, uh, two hour grandparents on both sides. Oops. Right. right, there we go. Oh, look at this. I've got a bit here, look, hanging up. Where's me? Oh, I've got that paper leaning up against my glue. I can't see. Oh, my glue's been left undone. Not oh, dear. For an hour. Oh, it's okay. It's forgiven me today. There we go. Okay. Oh dear, I've got glue everywhere. Right, I've got can see glue in the light there. Make sure there's no glue at all on this paper. I know it's dry it's clear, but it glistens, doesn't it? Right, uh, where's my thing? <laughs> oh, it's really nice, isn't it, that? Right, I can put that there. That's still got that. I'm going to have it. Not now this is a pocket, but that as a pocket. I'm just going to put that on there as a cover. Hold on a minute. I've done that the wrong way. Never mind, we'll have to round these corners as well. <laughs> I've, what I've done is obviously stuck it on the wrong way. Did you not see that? Didn't you not tell me? You should have shouted out. About, if, if you did shout, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, but there we go. Yeah. So that's going to go on there. Just going to stick it on there. That's nice and stiff, so anything that does go in, go in there can stay in there. So that's going to glue here-ish. So about what th just over three quarters of an inch, I think. Was it an inch? I don't know. Somewhere around there, wherever it is. 
it is about an inch actually and I'm just going to glue that onto there hopefully I've got about the right I'm gluing about in the middle there so now I've got a cat cover I haven't ruined my pockets I've got pockets underneath there we go make sure it's straight is it e e do you know what that looks straight there but not there but never mind eh as long as it's straight there and straight there I'm fine so now I'm going to make, right, I've got pockets behind, but I'm going to make a little thing to go in here. And I've got it prepared because I'm saving time. I don't know if it's that, what is this? Right, so what I've got is a um, index card folded in half. Inside you've got lines, so that's great. Uh, I've cut that to size. I have cut it to size. So I've cut this to size. It's just to go on and it will... Because I've got that nice purple border, I'm going to put that on like that. So what I'm going to do is glue this one side. That's what I tend to do. Do it one side at once when I've got a fold. I'm trying to make this video less than an hour. <laughs> because normally I do about one and a half hours and I've got to edit it down. So I'm hoping to do it less. Right, what, what I thought was a good idea last time when I did, I think it was this one, because I've got two of these type of things. Uh, I think it'll work anyway. I'm putting the crease on the line there and the crease on the line there. And I'm hoping that will help. Well, even though that's not stuck down, I'm moving it. Yeah. And then I'll just glue this bit as well. I can glue on here. I'm gluing on there. Well, if it's not stuck down at the edge, then just go underneath it. Well, there we go. I'll try and get all the globules because this is a nuisance for being having globs, you know. Glob, globby bits. If you use that type of glue, you'll understand what I mean. But it doesn't wrinkle. Look at that. Okay, so that's on the outside now. So I've got a nice little journaling spot inside. Oh, and I've also got ugh, gluey things. Let's get the gluey off. Yeah, that's done it a lot easily. Check for glue. Check for glue everywhere. Uh, what's that? <laughs> what have I got that? I don't know what that is. It doesn't matter, we're not bothered about that. Right, so I'm going to do is cut round here. I might do it on fast. Cut round my little cat. Right, put him, he should fit on there. Ooh, you know what? If it's just... So did, I can't remember what I did. Did I do that last time? So I can't remember doing that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's what I did. That's how I meant to do that, never mind. Oh, he's got a big massive. Sticking out a bit there. That'll be alright, won't it? Just going to cut it round so it's a bit shorter on the top and bottom. Yeah, if you prefer the one I did first, then that's great, isn't it? Because I prefer that, really. <laughs> there we go. It'll be, it'll be fine like that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we'll move that out of the way. Glue him down. Because there's a wire. Right, okay. So we're making sure we're that way around. Oh, I cut the eight. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I did, didn't I? Didn't make sure that was the right way round. Um, yeah, that's the other thing I did was cut little, the small size on here, just to get the corners. Okay. That'll do. So we've got that one and that one. I don't know which one you prefer. I think they both look alright, actually, don't they? Right, okay, so he can go in the uh, correct, the new one. I'm going to turn that, no, turn it that way around. I don't get glue on the 
outside. Don't matter about inside because that's probably going to be glued sometime. <laughs> that's my excuse anyway for speed, isn't it? Let me do the. Just trying to see if I've got the glue cap on. There we go. A bit on there, not making sure. Because if you put that in, that it won't. Uh, it might catch on the thingy on the envelope. There we go. I suppose you could match it all if you wanted, but I've, um, it's off the same pad, which is good. It will go in there eventually properly. It's just now. Right, this one. What am I doing with that, this one? I was making that little thing one time. It's got another little cat to put on here. This is another index card, but a smaller one. So again, I'm going to do that with the... Um, still a bit sticky. Let's put that there. Right, so again, I'm going to stick one side and then the other. I think it's there actually. Is she here? Oh no, it's that one. Where's the other one? She's here. Right, so what I'm going to do again, again, I'm going to do that thing where you go around the edge like this. I was going to use um, one the cat that can fit that way, but I was thinking it's got to go in that way anyway, so we're, I'm putting it in this way. Let's see if I cut the... Yeah, that's that way around. Okay. Need something to yeah, glue on, really, don't I? Oh, to get in there. So I'm going to put her on here. This is a her because that's... She's got that sort of face. The other ones have all got boyish faces, actually. There we go. It goes on there. Yeah, so that's, even though that's way around, that's the way you're writing it. But it's because it goes in here at this side, like this. I'm not putting a cat on there this time. If you notice, I put the other one on there, wherever it is. <laughs> Can't see it. Oh, it's there. So I actually stuck him, which is who's absolutely gorgeous, on there. I didn't want. I thought, no, I'm hiding him. So I'm going to put him on a um, a, an act, a little card, I think, as well. I don't know what little card. Oh, I know. I can use one of them. Yes. So that could be, I'm thinking that could be quite nice as a journaling bit on the back, and then you could put that on there. Right, how big do we want it? I think uh, probably a bit less than that, don't we? Well, certainly, yes, about the same width, definitely. So hopefully, it'll fit. Just over. So um, let's do it like this. So just over and just over. Things are falling on the floor around my feet. Right, so I'll do it back there. Um, I try and cut it with some scissors, even though it didn't work very long before. See if I can fit him on. Mm -hmm. We might end up cutting a little bit out, might we? Well, if that fits there, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to glue him on and find out how big he needs to be. <laughs> Why not? Right, move that out of the way. Right, okay, so that did I say this bit? It was this bit, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, thing is, 
just going to hide his face if he's in there that much. Try and move him out. So he should fit in there. Let's see if in his, let's see if he fits in here. Making sure, yeah. Oh dear, that's fine like that. And. Oh, right to the end. Oh, that's good then, isn't it? I've made him come out a bit because then you can see the whole of him and he's not hiding his face inside. I feel he can't breathe like that. <laughs> yeah, poor thing. Right, round the corner. Done. So you've got two journaling cards there for the price of one and that's a little indication there's somebody else behind there look. right then so for the other things the other place i've just got pieces of that's quite nice just pieces of paper from um i think they're the ones you're supposed to glue on but i'm going to use them as little writing paper and things like that and uh, i don't know where to put them i like this one I'm going to use that as a background for, I think, this, but I didn't. I used it. I don't, it seems to be one directional. There we go. And then there's this one. So this can go here. Something like that. And then you've got those there. And of course I've forgot about the front, haven't I? I've got think I should have something for this as well. Probably got more. I'll put them in. Where's the dog? Oh, there. I said, where's the dog? He's usually on his pillar. I was, all my stickers would have fallen on him if he had stayed there anyway, so it must have been he must have known. Okay, I'll put another one there, I'll put another one over there. I've got some more days, but no. Um, things like this, things like that. Yes, but then what? Butterflies and cats go well together, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I can put a few. Let's put a few of those on. Oh no, let's put a different one in. Put a few of those in like that. I suppose you could put stickers in as well, why not? Stickers in, yeah, I could put stickers in or they're in the, there's, I've counted them as stickers, they're in the sticker drawer, so we've got that and this. But, so that's basically full now. Um, closure wise, I don't know. I'm not sure what you need, what it actually, I suppose you can clip it closed. I mean, you can put a closure on it, you can put a little, um, thing like that and make a hole in it and put string through it I don't know if it needs it because that could be clipped quite well let me use a gold one. Oh, I've got some danglies downstairs I might go and get a dangly yeah I was making danglies yesterday just put a dangly on there hold on hold on <laughs> be about two seconds Right, and here's all my little danglies I made last night. So we can make a little, put a little dangly on here, can't we? Right, what we got? I don't even know what we've got here. Let's have a look. We've got one like that. That's got teddy bear on it, I think. Some sort of teddy bear at the end. Um, key ones are really nice. Uh, we've got any purpley ones. Because it's purpley, isn't it? That one's a purpley one with a key. Um... Let's have a look. There's one with a butterfly on, which is quite. A, I've put. A, oh, it's blue, isn't it? I've put a butterfly on and a weird ring at the end there, but hey. Put that one on. It can clip on and off, actually. So you could put. Anyway, that can clip on there. And so it goes so far over there. Yeah, there we go. It goes right to the bottom. Or you could put it higher up, couldn't you, like that? It's quite. These are quite heavy. I've had them years. Okay, there you go. Butterfly and a ring. 
not entirely sure what that's about, but hey. Um, yeah, that's the only purple. Oh no, there's another purpley one there. Oh no, it's ready, isn't it? It has got purple on it, but that will do. Right, that's a bluish one. Perfect. Right then, there we go. I'm going to sit myself round to the <laughs> correct position. Okay, so it's more comfortable for my back. What am I doing? Right, <laughs> I suppose you can put things like little words and things on there if you like, sentiments, things like that. Um, but uh, that's there's nothing wrong with what leaving them out at all. So we've got those. So it's all done. All little here and there bits. Okay, I suppose you could put something on the back if you want, but. I'm not leaving it because it might go into a journal. Okay. You could also permanently clip these on, couldn't you? And put a little hole in there. Okay, I do hope you like my content today. I am so grateful for anybody who gives me a thumbs up now or in the future or the past. Thank you so much. And anybody who subscribes to my channel too, thank you so much for that as well. Really, really love your, lovely of you and I really, really appreciate it as well. I've also got a Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts, on there. I do have these cat pictures. They're my own drawings, so they're not, um, it's not uh, anybody else's, so I would recognise them anywhere. <laughs> you can use them in um, your journals or your work but please don't don't um, share them as a digital or anything like that because that's not fair on me um, okay so let's have a look at the other one so I've got that one there so in fact I've got a whole sheet of them let me show you the rest of them now I can show you the whole sheet I've got the whole sheet here as well it's got this one I did it last November it's got it on there okay put them on there they've been on there since November so there's all the cats as well um, so, if you like that, you can welcome to join the group or, you know, yeah, please subscribe to my channel and, you know, it'd be great. Thank you. Right then, uh, so that's all the, all the bits then and all the things said. So thank you so much and goodbye.